this particular video we're being asked to uh, change this algebraic expression into a single fraction and it's a little bit like adding normal fractions where let's say we've got something like um, a third plus a quarter well what we actually do is look at that and we say I'm going to make both the denominators 12 and then what do I multiply that 3 by to get to 12 I multiply it by 4 so I multiply the top by 4 and then with the bottom um, what uh, with the other fraction I've multiplied that by 3 so I multiply the top also by 3 and that's what we're going to do with this particular type of algebraic fraction so if I look at this I want to make these two denominators the same so what I'm going to do is make both of them x plus 4 multiplied by x minus 4 um, and then it will be a case of making sure that the denominators are multiplied by the correct amount. So if we look at this, what have I multiplied x plus 4 by to get x plus 4 times x minus 4? Well, I've multiplied it by x minus 4, so I'm going to do the same to the top. I'm going to multiply 1 times x minus 4. And then exactly the same with the second fraction. What have I multiplied x minus 4 by to get x plus 4 times x minus 4 well I've multiplied it by x plus 4 so I'm going to do exactly the same to the top and I'm going to write that as 2 times x plus 4 okay and pretty much you're there at this point because it's only a case then of tidying everything up and making it look just a little bit uh, a little bit simpler. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these two fractions together and because they're over the same denominator, I'm going to write that as that one. In much the same as with these two, I can make that something over 12. Okay, and then it's a case of multiplying out the brackets for each of these terms and then gathering up the like terms together. So the first thing is I've got 1 times x, well that's going to be x, and 1 times minus 4 is x minus 4. OK, with the second fraction, I've got plus 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 4 is going to be plus 8. And all I've done there is I've multiplied that by that and that by that. If you're not sure about this, please do have a look at some of the other videos. OK, so now I'm going to gather up the like terms and make it just look a little bit better. So I've got x there and 2x there. Well, I'm going to write that as 3x. I've got minus 4 and plus 8, and that's going to be plus 4. And that's all divided by x plus 4 times x minus 4. And that's the answer to this particular question. Um, I hope that's been helpful for you. I hope you've been able to follow it through. Please do have a look at some of the other uh, videos within this particular playlist. Add a comment below if you're not sure. I'll always come back to you. Please subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.